trying to make is that Western society is starting to accept homosexuality. Slowly, but yes. Yeah, but come on, it's come a long way. And if this drug works, it could set it all back to attitudes of 50 years ago. That your disease can be cured with this handy little pill. But all I'm saying, David, is that men in different parts of the world would appreciate having a choice. Well, what about you, Carlos? What if you got tested and discovered that you didn't have the gene? Does that make you a pervert? Does it erase all the years you spent fighting for who you are? Okay, look, let's just hang on to this for a little while. We'll test the drug, think about what the fuck to do with it. Let's not worry about it right now, okay? Okay. Bob? It's true that lobsters are cannibals? It's true. If you put them in a cage together, they'll eat each other. Well, that's why I invited you over here tonight, Bob. So you could eat them before they ate each other. Thank you, David. Hey, who's here? It's about time. So what's going on? Well, we think we found... Well, David's friend found the gene for sexual preference. A gay gene? The, the gene for sexual preference. What, so what, for women and men? Yes and no. See, if a man gets it, he's more attracted to men. And if a woman gets it, she's more attracted to men too. Oh, so it's like a horny gene. I guess so. Bon appetit. Oh, no, David, I think we're opening up some very delicate ethical issues. What's the problem? Some redneck gets tired of the homo he's working with, just slips him a couple of pills in his coffee. What about the U.S. military? There goes the whole homosexual deferment issue out the window. Let's not even go there with the Christian right. Anybody want ice cream? God, I'm totally full. You find a gene, next comes a genetic test, and then a cure. Mm. Oh, sorry, it must just be the baby. We got our test results back. He's gonna be a boy. Brown hair, blue eyes, six feet like his daddy. But Mike's having second thoughts. The baby's gonna be gay. So, uh, sorry, Mako, did you want ice cream? No, David, I don't want any. Uh, Bob, ice cream? Ice cream! You ...until the following spring, when the cycle will begin again. I was miserable. Now, for my heartburn, I take latrapsulin. And for my homosexual tendencies, I reach for gay away, the dust that makes fairies fly away. Fast-acting latrapsulin, for heartburn relief when you need it most. It's springtime. Go. Ah, thank you. So does the world really need a cure for homosexuality? Is it a disease? Hmm. We're asking the wrong questions here. Take the guys who built the bomb, right? I don't think the question for them was ever should we build it. They had to. It was either them or the Nazis. I think the questions that kept them up at night were probably who's going to build it first, you know? And what's going to be done with it? So what are we going to do with our bomb, guys? 